I'm Trey Duke. Welcome to another episode of Take 20, a chance for us to give you a glimpse inside of Murfreesboro City Schools. And I'm Maria Johnson, and in this episode of Take 20, as you might expect, we're going to be focusing on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is definitely one of my favorite times of the year. And one of the things I'm really thankful for in our school system is our SROs, or our school resource officers, and all they do to protect us and make sure our buildings are safe. Not only that, they implement programs like the Character Does Matter program. This is a chance for our school resource officers to work with our students and teach them important character traits that will help our students make better life decisions. All right, and we're starting this show with Northfield Elementary School's school resource officer, Cole Glass. He's going to tell us about a few of their character words. Hey guys, I'm Officer Glass. I'm here at Northville Elementary School where I'm the school resource officer. I'm here with my friend Alyssa. She's awesome. She's a fifth grader here at school with me. Today we're going to talk about why character does matter and we are going to spin this awesome wheel that Alyssa is going to tell you more about. So we're going to spin the character wheel and uh, Officer Glass is going to tell us what words first pop up in his mind when he thinks of these words. You ready? Go ahead and spin it. Good grief. Perseverance. Perseverance. Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind is never giving up. No matter how hard it is, you always work through it, um, whether that's using your strength or your um, mental powers, um, but that's what comes to my mind. Yep. Okay, you want to do it again? Uh-huh. Humility. Humility. Ooh, that's a good one. I think that's one of the most important ones because humility is getting yourself off of the stage and letting your work or your accomplishments speak for themselves. So not seeking the attention, but showing your worth in that way. Can I give it a go? Yeah, go ahead. Take turns, right? Hope. Hope. Hope is, I think, first thing that comes to my mind is looking at something positive or looking for something positive and hoping for the best. Short and sweet, I guess. Leadership. Leadership. Ooh, kind of important, right? Yep. Leadership important. is guiding someone or a group of people in the proper way, um, using a collaboration of traits, I think, um, to accomplish a goal, um, being that good person of good integrity. Um, what about you? What, what does it take to be a good leader? What it takes to be a good leader is to, you know, know how to take turns, be respectful, uh, listen, because it's not Listening's only you. Very yeah. right? <laughs> Listening is one of the most important things. But yeah, that's what I think of leadership. Okay. Let's knock it out. Gratitude. So what do you think of gratitude? When I think of gratitude, I think of Thanksgiving because of, you know, being thankful for the little things, the good things, um, and like being thankful for a roof over your head, the bed you sleep in, anything like that. All the above. Yep. So what she's really saying is that she's thankful for mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> um, when I think of gratitude, kind of the same thing Alyssa was saying, I think of, you know, the small things and the big things and being thankful for all of it together. Um, we're very blessed to have what we have. Everybody's different, so gratitude hits people in different ways. Um, but gratitude is one of my favorite traits that we talk about. Um, so with that, that's all we have for you today. If you saw something you liked or that you have questions about, go to your school resource officer, a teacher, or an upperclassman like an awesome fifth grader, and ask them what it means to them. And so we'll see you next time. I really like the character strengths. One of my favorites that they didn't land on is curiosity. So Dr. Duke, what does curiosity mean to you? 
Well, the first thing that comes to mind with curious is Curious George, but I don't think that's what you're thinking about. So when I think about being curious, I think about being inquisitive, asking questions, being open to new experiences and knowledge. Good answer. Now, I'm a little curious as to what Miss Sherry is doing in the studio to gain some reading knowledge. I know she had a book, but I also saw her putting letters in a pumpkin. Well, let's go check that out. Thank you, Ms. Johnson. I am joined in studio today with Miriam, one of my co-workers. And Miriam, you know, I just love fall. It is so beautiful outside. I love fall, too. You know, when we were thinking about this show and fall, I had the perfect book come to mind. It's actually titled In November. Oh, wow, there are leaves on there. There really are. I thought we might read a page or two for everyone to to see what we're talking about. In November, the smell of food is different. It is an orange smell, a squash, and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning, can pull everyone from bed in a fog. Food is better in November than any other time of year. And this is my favorite page. In November, People are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes and talk by crackling wood stoves, sipping mellow cider. I do love spiced cider. I love the crackling of the fire sound oh, smell. But that cider is one of my favorite things. You know, something fun to do in November is to play games. I love playing games. I do as well. I actually played a game with Miss Cindy on last month's show. Well, let's do the same thing today. Well, I'm glad you're excited about doing that because I actually have a game in the pumpkin. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull a letter out first, and I'm going to see if the letter that I pull out, I can name a, a dish, like a food dish. I love food. Let's see how it goes. All right. Oh, I have pulled the letter A. Now, let me think. A. Apple pie. I love apple pie with a little <laughs> vanilla ice cream on top. So good. So good. You're making me hungry. Um, I know. Okay, let me choose. Pull a letter. All right, do so. I have pulled the letter M. M. Around this time of year, I love macaroni and cheese. Oh, oh, you know what I was thinking? What were you thinking? Mashed potatoes. Oh, that's perfect too. Can't beat a mashed potato. Can't beat it. You want to do another one? Yes, let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, I have pulled a V. V. You think. Why don't we just make this one vegetables? You know, Perfect. every mom wants their child to eat their vegetables. Perfect. That was good thinking. That was good. Uh, let's see what I can come up with. <laughs> Looks like I have a pea. A pea. A pea. A pea. In the fall, something very obvious with pea. How about pumpkins? Oh, absolutely. Like the one here. Yes. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Give me pumpkin pasta. bread. I love pumpkin. And that was a good one. Good one. Let's see what I'm going to pull this time, please. Be a good one. Oh. I've pulled an N. 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 Hmm. It's a pretty tough one. It is a tough one. You use your brain for this one. Yeah. Well, we use noodles to cook certain things. To go with that macaroni and cheese that yes. you said. Noodles. I love noodles. Any kind of noodle. Noodles it is. Noodles it is. You know, one thing I like about this game, it allows us to either work by ourselves or we can work together. And November is a good time just to remind us that, you know, we need to be kind to each other and help each other when we can, just like it said in our book. Today has been so much fun. Thanks again for joining me. I've had a blast. Come back anytime. You know, I hear Miss Cindy has something cooking in the kitchen. So we're gonna send it over to her, but before we do, gobble, gobble. Cheers. Cheers.
Thanks, Miss Sherry. And as you can tell, I'm in my favorite room, the kitchen. And I have with me Rebecca, and she oversees the cafeteria here at John Pittard. So Rebecca, what are we cooking up today? Today we are going to make pumpkin pie in a cup. Oh. It's a staple in my home. So let's check this out. We're going to need vanilla pudding. We're going to need one cup. Well, wait a minute. I want to make some too. Then we're going to have to double this. Oh, so okay. So one plus one equals two. I like got that. Two got cups. that math going. We do. We're also going to need two graham crackers. Okay. But wait, there's two of us. That's right. So, so we... we're going to have to double that. So I we're going this. to need four graham crackers. Okay. We are also going to need two tablespoons of pumpkin pie mix. But guess what? There's two of us. So we we're going to need four tablespoons of pumpkin pie mix. We're getting those double spacks in. All right. Now, everybody's favorite, whipped <laughs> topping, whipped cream in a can. And I then maybe it. just a little bit of cinnamon just to sprinkle on top. Okay. So how do we get started, Rebecca? First, we're going to get started with our two graham crackers. So okay. here's two graham crackers for you. Excellent. And two graham crackers for me. Excellent. And we're going to break our graham crackers. Oh, okay. So let me try that. Rebecca. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. When you break it, I have two halves. So do I. One half and one half. Put it back together and I have my whole. Okay, mm -hmm. now what do I do? Guess what? You can break it again. Well, let me try that. Oh my gosh, we've got four. Four. <laughs> you still so we have our one fourth and our one fourth to make our half. And then if we put them all together, we still yep, have our hole. you still have a hole. Look Excellent. at that. Excellent. Okay, well, all let right, me break my other one. Do that to your other one. Okay. I love these halves and fours. You know, I like a little bit of fractions. Okay, now what okay. do I do? Okay, we're going to open up our baggie. Okay. And we're going to put all of our pieces in the bag. All eight fours. All eight fours. Which makes my two total graham crackers. Yes. Okay, I got it. And you're going to smash them up as best as you can. Okay. Just give a this. good old squish. Smash them up. This is great for the kids to do. You don't even have to do this as an adult. Pass this on to that little one that you have in the kitchen. They will love to smash this. You know this what? This is better than sand. This is really going to develop their fine motor skills yes. also. We're going to finish squishing our graham crackers, get them nice and fine, and then we're going to pour them into the bottom of our cup. Okay. Look at that. Looks that is beautiful. Already. Next, we are going to take our pudding cup. Okay. And we're going to take our spoon, and we're going to scoop this out, and we're going to pour it right into our cup, right on top of our graham crackers. This is going to be hard not to eat it. It is the best part of the whole <laughs> recipe, is this cup <laughs> right <laughs> here. Now... Looking we good. are going to take our pumpkin pie mix. We're going to use two tablespoons. Okay. So it will be two tablespoons for you and two tablespoons for me. And a little heap is not too bad. You can heap it a little bit. But technically, you really want to use that one tablespoon and then level out your second tablespoon. Put it in there. Okay. Look how pretty that looks. Okay. Now every child's favorite part. <laughs> a little shake, shake, shake. Okay. We're going to sprinkle some on top. And how about you? Oh, look at that. That is that really is beautiful. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? I'm kind of proud now, of myself. We could sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the top. Oh, yeah. I or I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. I didn't even know they made pumpkin pie they spice. They do. This is a good little cheat right here. Look at that. I wish we had smell-o-vision. <laughs> that smell would be vision's wonderful. I'm going to pass you a spoon. Okay. And we're going to just dig on in and taste this and see what we have. Get that vanilla yolk, a vanilla pudding I down there. I can't wait. Don't forget those graham crackers. you got to oh, get the I didn't whole get down there. Wait a minute. in one. Wait a minute. Are okay. you ready? Yes. Set. Mm. Oh, it is so good. Oh, this is delicious. It is very good. I think the little ones are going to love this. 
Thank you so much, Rebecca. This has been so much fun, and this is a delicious snack. Thank you for having me. Oh, my goodness, and I hope, parents, you will definitely make this at home. It's so easy, and think about the math we did today. Integrating math in that kitchen and looking at that, it's all over. The measuring cups, the fractions, be sure to hit that. So before I finish eating this whole thing, I think I need to send it back to the control center. That pumpkin pie in a cup looks so tasty. I love how Miss Cindy can make everything about math. So we have character words, an alphabet game, and a quick dessert. What are we missing on our Thanksgiving table? Um, maybe a few decorations. So let's head over to Hopgood for a really quick idea. Thanks, Dr. Duke. My name is Dee Dee Potter, and I'm the art teacher here at Hobgood Elementary. Joining me today, I have Taylin, and we are going to draw turkeys today. Are you ready? Yes, I'm super excited to learn how to draw a turkey. Awesome. So pause this video, run and grab you a pencil, a piece of paper, or you could grab a Sharpie like what we have, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a dot in the center of our page. So that kind of designates the top for me, the middle, and the bottom. Okay, did you get your dot? Perfect. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a V, but I'm going to round it at the bottom. So I'm going to start out to the side. I'm going to go down and round it. Kind of looks like a little bit of a U, but that's okay. We're going to go over the top. Now it kind of looks like a candy corn. All right, at the top, we're going to add kind of a semicircle or the letter C going around. And we're going to start right here at the edge. We're going to go around and we're going to close it. Perfect. Nice job. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the body. And we're still going to use an oval. If you want to do a larger oval, you can, or a smaller one, you can. And we're going to start about a little ways up from the beak and come down and go around. Perfect! I love it. Alright, now we're going to add, start adding details to it. First thing, let's do on the right and the left, we're going to use kind of like a number three, but we're going to add one more kick to it. And then we're going to add wings on the right and the left side. So let's start right here. One, two, three. Nice. One, two, three. And if you do yours big, that's fine. If you do it small, that's fine. Nice. I like it. All right. Now then, let's go ahead and give him some legs. So down here at the bottom, we're going to use the number 11. And we're going to put them on both sides. And then we're going to add in another 11 right on the inside and what that does is that gives us our legs all right nice looks great all right on the sides we've done like a, th a number three we're going to do this again down at the bottom for our feet we're going to come out to the side one two three that just gives us a simple little foot right there nice all right let's do it to the right one one two three and connect them back perfect all right now then, let's go ahead and give him some eyes. Okay, you ready? We're going to start off with two circles in the top part. It almost looks like an ice cream cone. Oh, I like it. I'm going to give him a little white space there. And you can already see how this is looking. If you would like to color in your eyes, you can. And I'm going to color mine in so you can kind of see his eyeballs and what they look like. Kind of gives him a little bit of character already. All right. Now then, let's start adding a little bit of detail. We're going to add the tail feathers. Okay, so we're going to start about right here. And we're going to do the letter U. Okay, and you can do these skinny or you can do them really wide. You can overlap them. And you're just going to keep going all the way and this is very kind of I guess symmetrical in that we're going to stop on the other side about the same place. Awesome that looks great. Well now it's time for some details. Are you ready? We're going to add a waddle. Do you know what a waddle is? Mm -mm. No, no ma'am. You don't know what a waddle is? You know the little 
piece that hangs down that goes. I thought that was called a gobbler. A lot of people call it a gobbler, but it's really called a waddle. Perfect. All right, let's add some details to it. I'm going to add some lines on mine. Do they have to line up? They don't have to line up. You can do them in all sorts of fun places on the back so that you come up with a really fun design. You could even add, how about some diamonds in the top just to give it a fun little design there. Nice job, it looks good. All right, I guess that does it. Thank you so much, Taylor, for being here today. Thank you so much for teaching me how to draw a turkey. Anytime. All right, now back to you, Miss Johnson. I was following along with Miss Diddy, and what do you think? I think that looks pretty great. So, Dr. Duke, where's your artwork? Uh, well, I don't think I understood the directions, so I just uh, grabbed a stuffed turkey from the set. <laughs> Speaking of turkeys, I'll draw mine next time, but you go find your friend. <laughs> oh my. Our art teachers are so talented, and the walls of the schools are covered with the best students' artwork. Dr. Duke, did you know that our students' artwork will be on display in Nashville at Frist, as well as here in Murfreesboro in the City Hall Rotunda, and even at MTSU in the upcoming month? There is just too much talent not to share with our community. I can't wait to see what artwork our students and teachers choose to go on display. But for now, I'm probably going to stick to drawing my turkey and maybe making some <laughs> pumpkin pie in a cup. So that's a wrap for our Thanksgiving edition of Take 20. Once again, thank you for joining us and thank you for all you do to make sure the students and faculty in our schools are known, safe, challenged, and empowered. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone.